Well, hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be going over my February minimalism challenge. I think it's called minimalism game. The minimal minimalist, I can't talk today, uh, Josh and Ryan, I will link their channel down below. But I did one of these challenges back in December and I also did one in January and then February and I'm fully aware that it's way past February but I did film little snippets um, for you guys just to kind of show you ideas and things like that, you know, if you want to do this kind of a challenge, which I highly recommend because it's kind of amazing how much junk we have that just doesn't really add value and service anymore that could be better off either recycled or donated or sometimes just thrown in the trash. I also shared this journey on Instagram. My Instagram is down below as well and I took uh, photographs every single day and um, put them up for you guys to see. So yeah, it was 28 days. I got rid of less than 500 items and I actually donated them to a local charity in my area for all the things I donated. So since February, I haven't been doing this challenge any longer, um, but you know what's actually kind of interesting is that I have a, um, I have at least one coworker that is doing it for this month, which we are currently in April, and um, I, ask about, I ask her about it every single day, and um, a lot of the coworkers that I have know I have a YouTube channel, so hey, if you work with me. She's been doing an awesome job, and um, she watched a couple of my other videos that inspired her to um, start cleaning out her home. So it's kind of fun when you have a partner to do it with. That's what um, Josh and Ryan over at The Minimalists suggest, but I just wanted to do it on my own. And there were a few of you that actually joined me on the journey and would tag me on Instagram, which was like awesome. Um, or you would write comments on Facebook and actually put like pictures and images of what you purged that day. So I don't know, I just thought it was really, really fun to be like more interactive with y'all. So anyway, without further ado, let's get into showing you all the things I purged in the month of February. On day one, I am getting rid of this bin that used to house some bedding that I no longer have. So this is it for day one. On day two, I am getting rid of these two glittery trees I previously had in my home and no longer have a use for. So these are leaving on day two. On day three, I'm getting rid of these three Minnesota gift baskets. I never found a use for them, so it's time for them to go to a better home. So this is day three. Day four is four glass items that I never really found a specific purpose for and have just been dust collectors in my home. So this is gonna be it for day four. On day five, I have some sheets for a bed that I no longer have. I totally thought I got rid of all of these, but apparently not. A watering can, some wire green garland, and also some basket shrink wrap. And that's gonna be it for day five. On day six, I am getting rid of six different decor and storage items. Since downsizing and minimizing, I just really don't have a use for any of these things, so it's time for them to go to a better home. So this is it for day six. For day seven, I am parting way with seven plastic containers. I'm trying not to use plastic reusable containers any longer and moving towards glass. And honestly, most of these were completely empty and I just had them stored around my house. So it is time to donate these and pass them along to someone else that will use them. So this is it for day seven. On day eight, I am getting rid of eight plastic cups that frankly, I never used. All right, so for day nine, I have a bunch of plastic containers, a little wire basket that I used to use, but I purged all the things that were in there so I no longer have a use for. And then I also have this white towel that I absolutely love, but for some reason it has this really weird blue tinge to it now. I think it must have gotten mixed up with my darks a few too many times. It's a great towel, so I'm gonna pass it along, but it's not the color white that I want. So this is gonna be it for day nine. On day 10, I'm getting rid of all kitchen items, some plastic things, a little baking shaker, that black thing is a napkin holder, and then all the rest are some unused kitchen towels. So this is it for day 10. So for day 11, I am getting rid of 11 plastic containers. I used to use them all the time for my business, but I haven't picked them up in over six months and I've got a better system now. So these 11 plastic containers, we're gonna go off to a better home and be donated. So this is it for day 11. On day 12, I'm getting rid of a few decor pieces and some kitchen items. I have this print that says stay a while from Erin Condren. It used to be in my guest room. I no longer have a guest room so that needs to go. I also have this really cool shelf from Ikea that I've just never found a place for in my home. And then the utensils are just things that I had duplicates of or things that were unloved as well as the utensil crock. 
I actually have two of those and there's really no reason that I need two of those in my life. So this is it for day 12. All right, so day 13, I'm still in the kitchen purging items. I've got a bunch of kitchen tools as well as this like glass vase thing that I never really found a good use for. And then I have a kitchen drying mat, which I don't even really realize why I had this because I basically wash nothing by hand. So that doesn't really belong in my life. So this is it for day 13. On day 14, I'm getting rid of a bunch of bins slash containers slash other random stuff. I've got two kitchen knives, a paper towel dispenser that I've never put up, a light bulb I have no use for, a coaster, and this is just a random day. So this is day 14. So for day 15, I decided to clean out my freezer. This is all food, unfortunately, that has expired and I need to get way better at eating up stuff before it expires. But it does feel so good to have a clean freezer that has everything that is okay to eat. So unfortunately, all of this is gonna go into the trash. But I'm making a vow to myself to eat what I have now and not just let it sit there for like literally years <laughs> because it takes a long time for frozen things to expire. But this is it for day 15. All right, day 16 is a big day. I'm getting rid of a bunch of storage bins some decorative boxes. I'm also getting rid of a couple of things that I got from Financial Peace University when I took it way back in the day. I have some audio CDs as well as like a checkbook register that helps with like your cash intake and outgo that I never really utilized. I went to all the classes so I don't need the CDs any longer. I am actually going to pass those off to somebody very specific in my life, but everything else you see here is gonna go to donation. So that is it for day 16. All right, day 17 is just a mismatched pile of stuff. I've got these two fall gourds that I never put out this year, so it's time to see those go. Some excess kitchen towels, a couple organizers, some electrical plates, and also a grooming brush for Doyle that I don't use anymore. I have a different one and I don't gravitate towards this one any longer. So all of this stuff is gonna get donated. And this is it for day 17. On day 18, I am getting rid of some office items. I have three boxes of staples, a little stapler, a pouch from Erin Condren that I unfortunately ruined, and all the rest are file folders. So this is it for day number 18. And day 19 is the remainder of these file folders that I found in my office that I've never used. So I will be donating these, and hopefully they will go to a home that appreciates them way more than I did. So this is day 19. On day 20, I have a bunch of office items still. I still had some of those dang file folders. And I grabbed a couple of items from my kitchen and I also had a waste basket that I never really found a purpose for. So it's time for all of this stuff to go off to a better home. So this is day 20. Day 21, I have a random assortment of things. I've got a blanket. I've got Doyle's old collar as well as Doyle's old leash. I've got a baseball hat, some travel items, a bunch of nail polish that I don't gravitate towards. I also have these like nail polish dotting tools. I've got a reusable bag and like a little squeezy thing and then also I have like a little band-aid heel protector thing that's all dried out. So this is it for day 21. Day 22, I'm getting rid of a bunch of different containers and I found all of this other stuff in my bathroom. Some of the stuff I just don't use or I have so many duplicates of, all the band-aid and gauze and ointment pads and all of that. I don't need that many. I kept so much and it's time for those to just go somewhere else. So this is it for day 22. Day 23 is 23 books. I have read all of these books. I don't need them any longer. And I've actually been using Audible. This is not a sponsored video at all, but I've really enjoyed Audible. And I think I'm just gonna be going with audiobooks from this point forward. I'm not somebody that tends to reread things. So these are all gonna be donated. There's a few of these that I'm actually gonna hand select for somebody in my life that I think would get value from them. But this is it for day 23. All right, it's day 24 and I am getting rid of 10 paper bags and to be honest I think that these were from the previous owner I found them underneath my kitchen sink and I use reusable bags typically so I don't know where these came from but there's 10 of them so I'm gonna recycle those as well as I have a bunch of more band-aids I think I counted 23 total band-aids just in this specific pile so we're just gonna call this good at day 24 so it's day 25 and I'm finally on to clothing I have a bunch of tops, some bottoms, mostly pajama bottoms. I've got a twins hat, as well as a bunch of socks that have seen better days. So this is it for day number 25. 
Day 26 is 23 pairs of underwear, and there are a few of them that still have tags on them, but I just don't gravitate towards them because they don't suit my life anymore. And then I've got three socks that have seen better days. So this is day number 26. So for day 27, there's kind of a mix of things. Um, the basket on the right is something I've had for like maybe a decade. And I used to put in a bunch of slippers and these were for my guests, but to be honest, I like don't have that many friends <laughs> that come over for like an extended period of time. So I am choosing to get rid of three of the slipper sets. I did keep two of them. Um, I also have these prints that I actually ordered online. And to be honest, I know they're probably coming off on camera, very, very neutral, but it's just way too much color for me. So I'm gonna pass those along. And then we've got some home decor stuff. I've got some tech things that I'm actually gonna return. And then over to the left hand side there are some planner stickers a bunch of different like organizers and a binder so this is going to be it for day 27. so this is my day 28. i have a ton of stickers and planner items in here doyle you're not leaving um but anyway this is day 28. i'm going to pass these along to my planner sticker friends that are locally here in Minnesota. But um, yeah, this is gonna be day 28 and there's way more than 28 items in here. Doyle, do you wanna be in the minimalism game? No. I've invested too much money into you, boy. Doyle just wants stickers. That's what it is. All right, so this is it for day 28. All right, so that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If y'all have any questions, feel free to put them down below in the comments. You guys know the drill. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe. And if you guys have any other downsizing slash purging video ideas, put them in the comments. Um, I am gonna be filming a video actually right after this um, about sentimental items, so stay tuned for that. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Well folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah.